Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. Topic of the books, recommended books, is about medicinal plants, the Native American medicinal plants. This particular book is probably could keep a, a small army of people busy, just the one book, but as a reference. So <clears throat> the way this guy sets things up is that if you want to know what all the headache cures are, look under headaches and there they give you a list of all the plants that were used. <clears throat> or let's say one of the plants that might be used as a headache cure, oh, it might be yarrow. And then you'll say, well, what are all the things I can do with yarrow? And then you go to another section and there we'll list every possible use. And so the person who's interested in working up a, oh, maybe a couple dozen useful medicinal plants uh, to deal with the common things like the everyday cold or how to stop bleeding or, or, or headaches or whatever, you name it, you'd want to have a little bit of a background knowledge in that regard because you will find that in the wilderness, from my perspective, is just teeming with medicinal plants, but not so much with edible plants. It's a far greater challenge to meet your needs from the point of edibility as compared to meeting your needs with regard to medicines. Medicines are easy to find, and these books give you a very, very, uh, uh, actually comprehensive introduction to that topic. Indian Herbology of North America. Well, Alma Hutchins, who happens to be a Canadian from Winnipeg area, uh, in her studies of plants, uh, she compared the, she was of Russian Ukrainian ancestry, so she compared the usages of the same plants found both in, in Russia and in, in Canada. And so it's kind of a, a neat verification of, so, so if the Russians use yarrow in the same way that the native North American Indi Indians used it, that verifies that that's, that plant is uh, used in such a wide geographical area that uh, you place greater confidence in its use. The medicinal plants of the Pacific West. Now, Michael Moore is a name you should remember because I would say the moment you see his name by the book, don't even look any further. Uh, this, this fellow is an astoundingly um, a uh, knowledgeable person, his uh, way of analyzing the plants and presenting them uh, are, 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 are superior. Um, he has attended the Rabbit Stick Conference and everybody says that, and I've never met the man, but they say he looks like a, uh, a biker, but he is a uh, walking encyclopedia on the lore of plants. And this is Medicinal Plants of the Pacific West. Half of these books, half of these plants will grow in Alberta. So it's not a situation that you confine yourself to a very uh, 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 strict topic as far as geography is concerned. Because I find that there's a lot to be said about getting the usages from distant places and for plants that grow on your own doorstep. <clears throat> the book of Herbal Wisdom. This happens to be uh, an acquaintance of mine in Minnesota. Uh, and I would say that this book has a lot going for it that I, I would recommend it uh, very readily as, as the, almost the only book to buy for a long while. Any of these books could be like that. And then to blow my own horn, my name is found in this book because I, we're friends with uh, uh, Robert Dale Rogers. And this is a book published by Karamat, Rogers Herbal Manual. And it's written very, 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 uh, much in keeping with Canadian conditions and specifically Alberta. So if you're wanting something that's very local. And while we're the same author, uh, there aren't very many books on fungal phar pharmaceutical use of fungi. And Robert Dale Rogers happens to be uh, a renowned authority on the use of fungi as medicines. And you are have to search far and wide to be able to find a book that um, gives you such a wide range of uses for, for fungi. And it's a, an easy and a fun way to learn the mushrooms is from the perspective of uh, getting a handle on their medicinal uses. A very recent book 
that uh, has got the title Boreal, uh, the Boreal Herbal Wild Foods and Medicine Plants of the North. The northern environment is, uh, is kind of, um, um, there aren't that many plants, you might say, in a square mile of Brazilian jungle you, not, or, or Amazonian jungle, you might find more plants than all of Canada. But at any rate, the few plants that we do have can be heavily used uh, as forage plants, and this is a rather up-to-date and scholarly book on the subject. People are interested in wild edible plants, herb, herbal medicines. The books that we have here uh, pretty well would give you a university education if you indulged in, in, in these as your, your, your main books and studying that topic of, and in particular in this instance, um, a focus on herbal usages.